Hi, so I'm still Sarah from the Good Food Cookery team and the next one I'm going to show you is another summery cocktail, good for a party, good for a big jug. It's got cucumber in it. What do we think about cucumber? Sabah, you said no. Uh, no, it just doesn't, I don't know, I think cucumber in salads, not in drinks. Yeah. I just imagine, it depends what you're doing with it because if it's going to end up being slushy, that's where yeah. I end up being put off, but oh, okay. if it's not then. Oh, you really might not like this one. What about everyone else? <laughs> cucumber? Yes? No, some people don't like cucumber anyway. Bit sort of grassy, no? I had cucumber with Jean. Ah, like a Jean hand... cucumber? Yeah. yeah. Hendrix, yeah, and lime. Hendrix gin, they've got cucumber in it, haven't they? It's a really good one to go with it. I yeah. like it. It's very refreshing. Yeah, a couple of cucumber sticks, like as a good stirrer. Yeah. So, we might like this one. Okay, let's change so. Sabah's mind, everyone. Right, so start with a cucumber. Just want to trim the ends off it. So, you know, I know it's not strictly summer, but to be honest, you buy cucumbers all year round. I put them in my salads all year round, so whatever. Um, Half it. Just like that. Just really want to roughly chop it, so... Don't be too worried about the pieces because, sorry, Sabba, we are going to make it slushy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to sieve it. It'll be fine. <laughs> are you using the whole cucumber? Yeah, the whole cucumber, okay. skin and everything. Because the middle bit, the seeds, is great because mm. that's got a lot of water in. So that gives us all the juiciness. But for colour and extra flavour, the skin's really good. Skin's got a lot okay. of the flavour in. Also, a lot of vitamins, you know, so have a drink, but you're getting vitamins, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I like the logic there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is basically just like a health smoothie, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so in with the cucumber, back to my blender. So literally the whole thing in. Like this. And then, next I've got some elderflower cordial. Oh, it's like my favorite thing. This is mm. one of my recipes. I put it in everything. Does everyone like elderflower? I like it. Yeah, it's fair as we. Yeah. Nice, fresh flavors. This would be great, like May time, summer party times. So for a whole cucumber, about 200 ml. It's quite strong, it adds sweetness as well. So this is why I'm not adding any sugar to the cucumber, because you might think, don't you want some sugar going in there? Because it's, you know, salady. But um, the, <laughs> the elderflower cordial is really nice and sweet. So I promise, I promise you're gonna like it. So we've got the cordial in there, and then I've just got, oh, white wine, about half a bottle. So I've opened a new one, but um, it's a good one if you've got just a bit left over from a bottle. Maybe it's sat in your fridge for a couple of days and it's a bit sort of, do I want to drink it by itself? Use it in a little cocktail like this and you'll sort of mask some of the flavours with some extra ingredients. So if anyone does has it, wine left over. So. But does it need to be dry, sweet or any? Could be anything. Could be anything. I've got quite a medium thing here, but um, could be anything. Normally, because I'm a Kiwi, I've got a... New Zealand Sav Blanc in the fridge, but um, <laughs> anything sort of fresh. I wouldn't use something like a Gewurz Tramina, something like really, really sweet, because I think with the cucumber, it might just be a bit... Too uh, much. Yeah. Mm. I mean, especially if you had a bottle where on the, on the flavour stuff they put, it said, you know, cucumber, elderflower flavours. That's obviously going to be really, really perfect. So perfect. About half a bottle. But, you know, if you had a quarter of a bottle, just do whatever you want. This is also nice because it's quite light. It's not too alcoholic by the time I finish with it. So, there we go, about half. And then back to the blender. I'm hoping this one doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> Do this in a food processor as well. Maybe just halve the batches though, so it doesn't sort of go over the top. Mm. And try and whiz this one up, like r really, really whiz it up. So as fine as you can get the cucumber. Let's come on. Oh. <laughs> Great, it's so much better than my one at 
home. <laughs> right, and then a sieve. If I was doing this at home, I'd probably sieve it and then have to do it again because I've just got, you know, a normal kitchen blender. It's a bit ropey around the edges just to get the most out of the cucumber. But I think, because this one's so strong, we might only have to do one sieving. So I'm going to make a mess now, guys. Sieve it through. I think the colour's great, but is it a bit cucumbery? <laughs> no, it looks, actually looks quite nice when you're yeah? sieving it through. Yeah. Probably if you've got um, a wooden spoon, something like that, just to help it go through. You've got a lot of pulp bits are going to sort of block it. It is like a smoothie. Again. But, you know, you could make loads of jugs of this in advance, just have them all in your fridge. Just cover them with a bit of a cling film and then just literally pull them out when you've got your party and add add ice then. This will sit like, you know, for a couple of days really. But can you use any other spirits instead of the wine? Like gin, for example. Yeah, yeah, de definitely. So just leave out the wine completely, whiz it up with the elderflower and then just add gin to taste or add a bit of gin to each glass and top it up with this. Vodka oh, as yeah. well, maybe? Yeah, vodka. Or has anyone tried that elderflower um, liqueur? Yes. Oh, San Germain. Oh, I'd put that in it. That's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> if you have a juicer, could you yeah. make, uh, um, get the juice from the cucumber and use that alone? Or does the a lot of the flavor come from the pulp? Does that make sense? I'm noticing because you're sieving it anyway. So you're getting yeah. rid of that pulp. No, I, d I definitely do that, yeah. I mean, I might add a little bit of pulp back in, but that's my yeah. personal taste. Like, I think it... it it's quite nice and fresh if you feel like you know where mm. it's coming from in the glass. But if you, you don't like the pulp so much, you could definitely use a juicer. Because you're putting in a whole cucumber, you're getting so yeah. much flavour out of it anyway. I've just got this super good sieve, it's taking ages. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone got any New Year's Eve parties planned? Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> no. Yeah. I might be going to like uh, it's a friend's birthday on the New Year's Eve. Yeah. So it's that mixture of birthday, festive, New Year's Eve thing. So looking for some fun ideas to entertain me. <laughs> Have you been asked to bring something? Um, I volunteered to like make something. I was either going to cook something or mix something. Yeah. Um, and I thought um, the drink is probably a little bit more. What everyone's looking forward to. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, you'll be you'll be the guest everyone likes the best, I'm sure. So <laughs> Well if yeah. I was doing this you could just Especially when you've got really Yeah. I was gonna say if no, you yeah, um... especially when you Sorry, you go first. Um, no, I was just saying like um from the last one and this one, it's not it's like key what, three, four ingredients. So yeah. it's not too many like using anything syrupy or trying to get like really expensive bits and pieces and no i hate those recipes which have like four different types of alcohol yeah. in i think maybe i've got one to show you but otherwise i you know especially you just otherwise you've got to have this like massive stock cupboard you probably put about 50 mm. mils of each thing in and yet you've had to buy like five bottles spend about 100 Very true. it's just not my type of cocktail yeah 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 I mean, cucumbers, God, what, how much is a cucumber? Like 80p or something? Mm. This, you could do, if you want to take this to a party, you could, because um, in a minute, I'm going to top it up with some soda. So if yeah. you mixed it all in a jug, you could literally pour it back into your empty soda bottle, pop oh. your lid on, and then Just keep it. stick it in the fridge, take it in a cool bag or something, make sure the host has got some ice and sorted. Mm. Make sure people like cucumber, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should have gone for some of the more, you know, classic favourites first, or maybe going a bit alternative <laughs> think, too early. I think probably if you don't tell them it's got cucumber in it and get them to yeah. taste it first, they probably won't actually... It's just the yeah. thought of something beforehand yeah. that makes you yeah. kind of go, oh, but actually when you try it, it's really, it's yeah. really, really nice. It's sort of, hi guys, cucumber cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you just said mm, elderflower, elderflower, and a secret exactly, ingredient. Yeah. And they'll probably mm. think the secret ingredient's booze. You'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I've I've got about that much from that one. But honestly, I could press that through more. It was just it was just taking some time, and I might mm. pop a spoonful of that back, mainly because I quite like the flex of the um, of the skin. So if I just put a tiny bit of that pulp back in, give it a good. In fact, when I add the soda, you'll see. But I just think it gives it some nice, like, little specks. So, so then it's literally just soda water. Um, if you like things a bit more bitter, you could use tonic water or something. I quite like soda because a, it's really cheap. B, it's just kind of got this neutral, flat flavour. It just really adds fizz. So, top this one up. Are you putting an equal quantity or half of it or? If I'd done the whole cucumber, I'd, I'd, pro I'd probably do it to taste, but I, it probably okay. needs at least a litre. So I sort of had right. two litres handy. But, and also, you know, it depends how tasty the cucumber mm. is. With all these things, I mean, whenever you go to a cocktail bar, don't you? You see the cocktail man get his straw and taste it before he gives it to you. Mm. Especially with fruit and stuff like that, the flavours just vary so much. And like if you were using lime juice, like you just never know. They say juice two limes, and one day it'll be mm. about a tablespoon, the next day it'll be about 100 mils. Like, so mm -hmm. I would always do it to taste. Right, it's getting a lot of bubbles, so. I just think the colour's fab, like look at that. And I think people mm. might would think it was yeah. really minty or something, and then be. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. pleasantly surprised when they taste it. Just trying to get rid of some of the. Yeah, so the state it's in now, if you wanted to take it to your party on New Year's Eve, then just pour that back into the soda bottle. I would. It smells nice. I haven't, I'm going to have to taste it. Um, <laughs> and I've only got a pint glass. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can. Oh, here we go. We'll do a little short one. So, a little bit of ice. I mean, you really want to chill this one up good and proper, though. You want it kind of ice cold and really refreshing. So it looks like that. Nice. Oh. Looks yes, like a mojito nice. without yes. the bits. Okay. It's good. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. It's really good. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Sabra, have I changed your mind? Do you think you might make it? Yes. Yeah, because I was imagining it to be really thick yeah. when you serve yeah. it. Yeah, almost like a, like a smoothie. Cucumber smoothie. Yeah, yeah. no. Um, but definitely. actually, that looks really nice. Cool. Okay, that's good. Anyone else? You're going to make it for your party? Oh, definitely. I would try it. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and if you had some mint, some mint would be in there, nice in there too, I think. Even if you didn't whiz it in. I mean, maybe you think that looks a bit boring. So you could add, yeah. you know, a little sprig of mint like that. It's quite cool. Mm. Sort of, it's cool now to add kind of nice big sprigs of mint rather than, you know, like individually picked leaves. Mm. It's a bit sort of 1980s. Kind of when I'm food styling <laughs> and stuff, I like to add like a really nice big one that you can sort of almost curl around the glass like that. So when you see it, you've got this great kind of profile. Okay. Like it looks mm. really nice. And that just adds some more fresh flavour. And always try and add the, the herbs like that if you're doing them whole, add them at the last minute because they're just going to wilt and go a bit gungy if you add them too early. So, mm. Oh, so we like that one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, you'll have to hold on to this recipe till summer, I think, because that's the best time. So thanks, guys. Right.